Welcome to the thermodynamics lesson on the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics in equation form is delta U equals Q plus W. From this we see the, the description for the first law of thermodynamics that the change in internal energy is the sum of the heat and work done in the, in the thermodynamic system. What we're going to take a look at in this lesson are the variables in this equation u, q, and w and how you know their signs and in one case its quantity given what's going on in the problem in the problem description. We're going to start with the hardest part here. Let's start with um, ideal gas law equation PV equals nRT and let's suppose we have a volume change and you have learned in this class that when you have a change in one quantity on one side equal sign it means it was due to a change in quantity on the other side as well uh, and in this case the change in volume is due to a change in temperature If we put a negative in front of both sides, and I'll explain later why we've done that, what we have is the expression for the work done on or by a gas in a thermodynamic system. So work done is equal to negative P delta V, which is what you'll see on your reference table. But it's also useful for you to know that an alternate way to calculate that is negative NR delta T. So if they gave you the number of moles and the change in temperature in Kelvin, you'd be able to also calculate the work done instead of using negative P delta V. Now, let's take a look at the signs of this work and what that means as far as the work done in the thermodynamic process. The first thing that you'll note here is that work is only done when there's a change in volume. If there's no change in volume during a thermodynamic process, there's no work done. Your work done would be zero. However, if the work is done by the gas, Let's take a look at what that would mean. W equals negative P delta V equals negative P and the delta V, if the work is done by the gas, that means the gas is expanding the container. the gas is expanding the container causing a positive change in volume because the final volume will be greater than the initial volume and changes final minus initial so it would create a positive change in, in volume because of the container expanding. Therefore the work done by the gas would be a negative times a positive which is an overall negative value. If the work is done on the gas, this would mean following W equals negative P delta V. If the work is done on the gas, that means some outside force or some outside system is compressing the container doing work on the gas. So the gas is compressed and compressing the gas means that the final volume will be less than the initial volume therefore the change in volume would have a negative value. 
and a negative times a negative is an overall positive value. So what we've talked about so far with work is that work is zero when there's no change in volume. The work is negative when the work is done by the gas, expanding the container, and the work it done is positive when the work is work done is on the gas, compressing the container. Now, to wrap that discussion up, if you look at the front of your reference table, or this, the page that has the constants page, and find this Roman numeral 4 statement, it says for mechanics and thermodynamics equations, W represents the work done on a system. That is why the College Board and AP use the designation W equals negative P delta V. Because if W represents the work done on a system, that has to end up being positive. So the only way for that to happen, if the work is done on a gas, that means it's compressed which means that gives you a negative change in volume. The only way to have that work done be positive is if a negative sign is in front of the negative P delta V so that the negative times the negative is a positive value. Okay? So that's why there's a negative for the college board and AP in front of the negative P delta V for the work done. You may find in other textbooks and other college courses that they use an opposite designation and then the reverse would be true. Okay? All right, continuing on, let's start, let's go to some easier stuff here. Let's talk about Q. Q is zero if the process is adiabatic. But Q is positive if heat is added to the system. And Q is negative if heat is lost by the system. This concept is pretty intuitive and pretty easy to grasp. Q is zero if the process is adiabatic. Q is positive if heat is added. Q is negative if heat is lost. Okay. Lastly, delta U. Delta U is positive if the temp if the temperature in the system increases. And delta U is negative if the temperature of the system decreases. Delta U is zero if the process is isothermal. Now, what you have to remember here is that temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the molecules, which is directly proportional to the internal energy of the system. So it makes sense to us that if delta U is a positive value, that that means that the temperature had to have increased. Likewise, if the delta U value is negative, that means the temperature of the system had to have decreased. If there's no change in the internal energy, that means um, that the process had to have been isothermal and that the temperature remained constant. All right, much more to come on the first law of thermodynamics as you begin to investigate problems using these three variables of interacting, uh, change in internal energy, heat and work done in an ideal gas system.